Hey, Evelyn, the Evelyn Mora, how are you doing? <laughs> Good, how are you? The Tess Van Zalinge. Yes, I'm doing great. It's nice to finally talk to you again. Like we've had the video cast, right? Uh, what was it, two weeks ago, three weeks ago? Yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> but how, how, how is it going? Are you excited? Like this is day three, right, of the designer in residency? Yeah, it's been it's been great. I've had a lot of uh, fun watching you guys streaming and um, really authentic content. And I love that it's happening all before the shows. So it's really exciting then to see the result. Yeah, yeah. I already had um, two talks with Marco of PTT, yeah. of course, and mm -hmm. with Derek from YouTube. It was it's so so funny that I also talked about it with Derek that. This, even though it's a, a digital digital fashion week and a digital residency, like you can actually connect with people from all over the world. And I think that is so super cool. Um, how do you think all these um, digital presentations are going so far? Like, of course we have to show next week, but there's a lot of stuff happening. Mm -hmm. um, how, how, how do you feel about that? Like, I read your article, of course, um, at Vogue. It's a, it's a lot what is happening. Yes, yes. It's a lot, but it all um, looks great. I'm super excited to, to go live next week. And it's really exciting that these streaming sessions are my favorite, actually. And I think um, I would want to do this in the future as well, you know, to just actually talk to the people that are behind all this work and mm -hmm. uh, to understand the process before you, you see the shows, you know, because um, yeah. it's really easy to not understand um, how much work goes to making like a one minute video. You know, there yeah. is like several different people. Someone's doing the sound, someone's someone's doing the graphic design, someone's doing the 3D modeling, someone's actually, you know, art directing everything. It's, it's really um, a lot of work. So yeah. it's really, um, it's been exciting to lead a team of, I don't know, like a few hundred people from all around the world. Um, yeah, but so far so good. Ah. Should I do, a, a maybe for everyone who's watching, just a, a quick recap on how we met. Yes. Um, because we actually did met in person, not only <laughs> yeah. through this uh, screen thing that is going on right now. Um, when, was, when was it? When was it that you visited Amsterdam? It was September 2019. Oh yeah, you were, you were here in the atelier two days before the show or something like that, right? Exactly, exactly. And I had to leave. I couldn't see, see your show, but yeah, exactly. And, and it was chaos at the atelier and then we right away at least agreed on, okay, we should, we should meet again. <laughs> and now even, even though it's through, it's through, uh, uh, through a screen, um, yeah, I think what you're doing I don't want to uh, only like say compliments and everything, but I mean like what you're doing with Helsinki Fashion Week, like ever since it's the Sustainable Fashion Week and what you're pioneering of as a person, but also as a Fashion Week is super inspiring. And then of course we got the, I got the call of you in March uh, mm -hmm. saying we're going completely digital. Um, <laughs> I followed you blind. I said, like, okay, let's do it. Uh, and I think many of the designers it's did, right? Couch. All the yeah, designers it, reacted positive. Yeah, for 14 out of 15 said immediately yes. And okay. one designer was hesitant. Um, and then she came back and said, actually, you know what? I would love to do it. So everyone said yes, which was a big surprise for me. You know, that yeah. was probably the biggest doubt I had you know, to break the news to you guys and see if you guys are in into to doing that um, or doing this season this way. And um, so I called each and every one of you personally to explain uh, what we wanted to do because the selection process was like four months and it was a lot of work. Um, yeah. 
And uh, so if, if you guys would have said no, you know, we would have never made it because yeah. we, we've done this all in like a few months. Uh, this is normally a work of like a year. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it was great. It was really sort of um, easy, you know, to just be like, okay, so we have this vision. And then you guys were like, okay, yeah, let's do it. What do we have to do? And I was like, oh, okay, really? Are you sure you want to do this? Um, so, yeah, I was really surprised. But at the same time, I was like, you know what? Uh, no wonder that our selection process is quite complicated and, and, and it has a lot of steps because um, we chose the right designers. You know, we were on the same wave, wavelength with everyone. Yeah. And it was yeah. very uh, sort of um, natural for everyone to just, you know, trust us and follow us through this journey. And, you know, it, it's, uh, it's our first time. Uh, we've learned so much. So I much. Imagine. <laughs> like um, every single word and definition what the meaning of rendering you know it was so funny that people are asking what kind of avatars do you need do you need them to be rigged and I'm like Google rigged rigged like what does it mean and, and it's just like so many new things to learn and understand um, yeah so I feel like I've done like three PhDs now in this few months and uh, yeah. it's been quite overwhelming because it's very complicated um system and there is a lot of things to know um and there there was a lot of things we didn't know like for instance that when you talk about a look in 3d it doesn't include the jewelry which for us is like yeah. what are you talking about like a fashion look you know in a reg regular fashion show like styling, styling <laughs> yeah. you know all this is included no like yeah but no that's a different thing and um, yeah, and, and we were really ambitious as well. Like I have to say that if I knew all the things that I know now, I probably would have hesitated to do this. You know, <laughs> yeah, because it's, it was a lot of work, you know, a lot of work. I, I think the time here, the time frame in where you managed to put everything together, it's exactly what you said in the beginning. I think for the first time such as this, you have to have at least half to one year to prep this all. So, like, it's only... <laughs> I can understand what you say. I I'm just wondering, though, like, did you do something, um, uh, a different application form for uh, the Digital Fashion Week, or did you have the same sort of standards, or did you invite different designers? Actually, uh, you guys, everyone who were selected, were selected for the Physical Fashion Week. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah, because it was such a long process, um, and you have to literally, like, even if you don't accept someone, you need mm -hmm. to get to know them, you need to understand their brand. So you need to go through a certain amount of certain process before you can even say yeah. no to a designer yeah. um, or yes. Um, so all of you, you were selected for the physical fashion week. So yeah. obviously next season is going to be better. It's going to be there. We have so many ideas. It's crazy. And we have a bunch of uh, 3D designers applying to show uh, traditional designers applying already so it's it is um it is going to be very interesting um next year or next season um i'm very excited. is it, is it going to be hybrid is it going to be digital is it going to be physical is it going to be digital like derek said uh, monday <laughs> <laughs> digital is the new wor word I heard. <laughs> I don't like that word. I think it's weird. Um, <laughs> I love it. Um, I love it. I, I'm not going to reveal what we're going to do next year, but I have a pretty clear vision, I have to say. Um, especially now that I've learned so much, you know, not only how 3D designers work, but how the traditional, traditional designers adapt to this process. What are the biggest challenges, you know, what to do first, you know, sort of the whole structure of everything, because we didn't know, you know, we were like, 
Okay, so those guys are doing the animation, these guys are doing the digitizing the clothes, and then there is the co-creation process, and then there is the digital designer residency, and then there is the physical part of things, and then, you know, it's just like, but I have to say, like, um, I might be the initiator, and this might be my idea, but, um, First of all, it wouldn't have happened without our board backing me with this idea. That's number one. Secondly, it wouldn't have happened if you guys wouldn't be on board. So the traditional designers. The amount of trust and risk and uncertainty that we went through together. Yeah. Unimaginable, undescribable. And then, of course, the 3D designers and all the partners that we have. Yeah, how, did they, how did you select all these... Like I'm of course teamed up with Emily and I will have a live stream with her um, later today. Um, but how did you find all these people and how did you connect them to all the traditional designers? Um, you know, I did that. I went through, uh, I spoke with, uh, with you guys. I know you guys. I went through your work. And uh, literally it was... Um, hand connected like literally okay. i went i was like you know what personality of emily she's on point no bs you know get to the point do the job focus perfectionist i was like this is tess van zaling in 3d yeah <laughs> perfect yeah you made like you are a matchmaker like this was the perfect match you could have made i think it's so funny <laughs> But, but then there is other other designers like Patrick McDowell and Stacy. You know, yeah. they are all sort of hinting. Uh, they're a little provocative, but they are very sort of feminine and um, they, are, they go to the fullest, you know? And I yeah. knew that Patrick has sort of this very um, traditional, it's weird to call you guys traditional, but we didn't come up with another physical would be weird like you know these other yeah. designers are also physical beings so <laughs> they're not imaginative, imaginative creatures so um that's why I traditional right yeah um, because you work in a very traditional methods yourself but anyways yeah. Yeah. Um, Patrick has this very traditional like um aspect to his work and then mm -hmm. Stacy is a little bit like, how can I explain it? I, I can't find the right words, but it was a perfect combination. And Helena and the unexplored fields, you know, um, the passion that they both have for color, for texture, yeah. that was very obvious. And um, yeah, a lot of other, other uh, designers. Uh, yeah, we had people uh, like Sophie, we connected with uh, Cornell. You know, you, they are both Dutch and um, would be interesting to see that. And, and then there is also all the other designers um, from different car countries. So we took into consideration your personalities, your yeah. cultures, where you come from, um, you know, your aesthetics as, as designers. So and, this is and did all these digital designers apply somewhere? Did you like put out like a, an application form like, hey, <laughs> we are looking for <laughs> some talent yeah. here. <laughs> yeah, so, yes, we just literally put uh, an announcement through the okay. fabric in their Facebook. Oh. And, um, and then we got a lot of applications through that part. And then we just simply, because you know what's the most interesting part is that we didn't know how this process works. Like, how do you work with a designer? Mm -hmm. You know? No one knows. <laughs> we didn't. So we literally got in touch with like hundreds of people we were on calls with them um mm -hmm. asking them, you know about prices about time about you know quality and aesthetics and all this to understand that what do we want what can we have what is the offering out there so um and also it's a great opportunity to just introduce yourself to that field and mm -hmm. And it's really interesting how we so we can now envision a little how this community works, what is the sort of most um, active and sensitive uh, parts, what are the main challenges for 3D designers. Um, I think the most important thing in this whole event is this co-creation look. 
in my yeah. opinion, because 3D is something that we have to we have to use in the future. It doesn't matter how yeah. traditional or untraditional you are, you know, using tech tools and tools um, like this in general in the traditional fashion supply chain, whether it's blockchain or, you know, 3D sampling, mm -hmm. these are all some things that we have to adapt to. And what's the better way than putting, you know, individual three designers to, mm -hmm. you know, talk about it? Because we also watched a lot of um, panel discussions. We read a lot, um, made a lot of research, and we realized that, you know what, um, one of the main challenges for the 3D community is to understand how the traditional fashion industry really works. What are the yeah. sort of sensitive parts there um, in terms of craftsmanship, showing in person, you know, the whole process is so important uh, that you need to know, you need to understand in order to create good collaborations and respectful uh, way yeah. of action. Otherwise, uh, there is a miscommunication between these two fields. So that was the first thing that we um, wanted to tap into and see how you guys work with one another. But another thing that was really important was your creativity and how far are you willing to compromise? Yeah. Because you have to compromise when it yeah. comes to this kind of new um, experimental things. You have to compromise. Um, and, you know, the whole idea behind the co-creation was to see you to learn from the 3D designers how they see things and what is their perspective. Because I believe that many of you had very different perspectives and often those perspectives, you both learned something from that and you created yeah. something extraordinary. And when I look at your co-creation, co-created looks, it's, it's really mind-blowing. Um, not only that it yeah. affects like there is multiple designers that have gained understanding of their own brand, own sort of silhouettes and direction where they want to take their whole brand identity in the future. It's yeah. really brilliant. And I'm very happy, happy we did this. It was completely extra. We didn't have to do it. But no. we and and um, I noticed that when the traditional fashion week was still on, you had like a, a sort of guideline, like where Helsinki Fashion Week stands for, like no animal leather or um, uh, fur or whatsoever that can't be used. Do you think there are certain rules that we have to come up with for a digital fashion week or a virtual fashion week that also have like certain rules like this and this and this to protect the digital fashion week. Is that something that you already like experienced while you're like, you're what you say, you're working with so many people all together. I'm, I'm just thinking about, about like, for me, those rules with not working with fur and not working with animals because I love animals like little Tony here <laughs> sleeping on my lap um, do you think that there are that you can come up already with some rules that for next time or for other digital fashion weeks that we really have to protect the digital world there yes a lot of things uh, a lot okay. of a lot of things uh, there has to there there is a lot to to define right okay. there is um, a lot to modify um, and curate in different uh, in the collaborations between 3d designers and traditional designers yeah um, I'm really excited about this report that we are doing with normative because this is yeah. going to be mind-blowing um, in several different ways we've gave them our financial information our employee information, hours we're working, literally yeah. all the developers have been answering to their questions, doing calculations, our partners, you have done that too, um, the yeah. traditional partners. So I think, and it, you know, the crazy thing is that such things doesn't exist. So there is a lot uh, that we will be um, addressing in this report and I can't wait it to come out. Um, and Does I think it come uh, out after the fashion week. Yes, yes, oh, because we have to measure nice. the fashion week as well. 
so we have compared the digital village with the eco village. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, really, really interesting uh, comparison. Uh, a lot of really interesting information, and the most exciting part for me is to share this publicly, yeah. uh, and not just keep it to ourselves because it is yeah. a big and um, it, it's overdue this report because. Google, Facebook, um, a lot of different tech companies, um, there is a lot of things they have to take into consideration mm -hmm. and address that as well. Yeah. And yeah, so a lot of things, a lot of things, not only environmental, but social um, aspects as well. And um, yeah, it's really, really interesting. And how funny you're interviewing me. It's like uh, you're asking a question. <laughs> You're, you're such, you're like, I think um, everyone and especially these weeks, even like the rest of the team that we have contact with, like Maria and everyone, like you, you, you could be so happy with such a team, but they are so, so busy um, <laughs> with organizing all this. I can't even imagine like how much work and time is put into it. So finally, I have the chance to like ask you directly all, <laughs> all these questions. Um, I have to say that without uh, those girls and boys in my team, yeah. when when I bro broke the news for them, I was like, okay, so this is what we are going to do. Uh, nobody hesitated for a second. Nice. Never. And uh, until yeah. today, nobody has hesitated, which is really beautiful. And um, yeah, I will get a little emotional if I talk about this more. But I'm <laughs> grateful for my team. Yeah, I can imagine. Like, I have the same, actually. We're actually now, of course, working on the collection that we developed, digital, um, to create it in the physical way, in a traditional way. And I have to admit that I went a bit wild with the digital aspect. Um, I think you can confirm that I really pushed everything. Um, and now we are here in the atelier next to this atelier. We're actually creating everything in real life, what I imagined for the digital fashion week. And I have to say, without your team, it's not even fun. It's not even worth it. It's like collaborating, I think, is the most beautiful thing um, that can happen and that can also keep your creativity sharp. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, for me, like I I'm only getting inspired by people who are inspired. And that's something that I meant also with Emily and then like the connection that you made with uh, traditional designers. I hope all the traditional designers, hopefully they are watching, are feeling the same thing with the, with the digital designers. Um, that it really sort of helped you in the creative process of thinking outside of the box and rethinking also your own processes. Um, and I think, yeah, that's also where this residency is all about, right? To talk about subjects or just get to know people from all over the world, experts from all over the world. Is there anything that you would say like in the past, what is it, three months, four months? Four months. Is, 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 four there, months. is there something, yeah, I think four, four months. Four. <laughs> is there what? something you wanted to do differently or is there something that didn't or deserves to have a, a spotlight on it still like something that's happened maybe behind the scenes that you want to share with us or i don't know i can say that um this process has been a lot of fun <laughs> very challenging mm -hmm. a lot of fun literally um I've been smiling the past three months uh, of happiness and joy because how interesting this transformation is and how much potential it has mm -hmm. and possibilities. Um, there is a lot of things I would do differently. I, I can write a book about that, but I have another book to finish first. So, um, but I would do 
a lot of things differently just yeah. to optimize it, uh, the whole process. And obviously, you know, now that we understand what it takes, just if, if we focus about you digitizing your collection, mm-hmm. it is actually a very sensitive process. It requires way more time that we allowed people to do it in. Um, <laughs> it's so funny because you, I know how you design and how perfectionist you are. And I was like, oh my God, we are literally, how, how long did we give you time to design your collection? Like a day or 12 hours or something like that. <laughs> um, and then how you managed to do it without any complaints or anything. You were just like, let's get to work. And I now, think I complained a bit, right? <laughs> you, the, the work, the quality, the designs that you delivered um, in that time, impossible. Okay. impossible. There, there is so many things impossible in this project that um, yeah. impossible, literally. Um, not even mentioning like, okay, so we have NDA who's uh, animating yeah. and directing your your shows uh soul that's that is producing them uh, we had scotoma labs uh digitizing your looks yeah one by one each garment mm-hmm. right um first of all those two things like mind blowing how much work and effort goes to these parts only yeah yeah but course me being me we decided to do the digital village yeah also and we did we decided to implement blockchain in it we decided to make a digital sanctuary with real life architects information architects sound designers composers actually webgl designers 3d designers <laughs> All the website should have yeah. us a year minimum. Yeah. minimum. Yeah, I agree. So, <laughs> if you now sum everything up, like everything that you've been doing, like it's almost, it's almost sounds like a mad job. Like I can, I can imagine that you started this and you just dived dived into it like okay let's do it you had at least your team on board what is the mo- the most important thing then you have the designers on board and then you just went for it um but, and then we had uh, these things aside then yeah. we had the designers yeah <laughs> but then let's put this aside we have this yeah. design residency over 80 streams with mentors so it's been a quite quite an experience in a few months um yeah i'm just uh, grateful and humble for all the people we're working with how amazingly we've progressed and how we managed to build this it's incredible i have one more question um it sounds like that i prepared something but we just we just went for it, right? Yeah. Um, so I'm just very curious. Like, of course, a lot of fashion weeks are going digital or doing digital presentations or a, a form of it. How how did you like when you decided to go wild and do this? There was a lot of quiet. Um, there, there was no one speaking up. Like, I'm gonna do this or I'm gonna do this. Now a lot is happening. How, how do you? what do you see and how do you how do you uh, what do you think of it like of all these presentations and stuff that's going on now in fashion week country um when we we were the first fashion week that went fully yeah. 3D. so let's not mix digital with 3d yeah. uh, me uh going 3d was the only digital option 
because I don't get satisfaction from you showing me these outfits that you have behind you. I, I can't see it in, in no. the life. I can't touch them. So I would be left very unsatisfied. So I didn't yeah. want to do anything like that. And I just, um, I've been going around the world actually talking about how to enter the cyberspace. I, yeah. I had no idea how, what am I talking about? Literally, I had this vision that, okay, so you date online, you work online, you shop online, but I don't want this 2D. Like, this is boring. I want to put my hand to my screen. I want to grab yeah. my potatoes. I want to grab my apples. Uh, this is what I wanna, how I want to shop. I want to enter this, like, really... Enter the space, enter the world. Yeah, yeah. With, I don't know, on Mars and just like Elon Musk being the, the cashier, you know, like I want to have an experience when I go grocery shopping. Like what is this clicking on pictures? You know, that's boring. And yeah. so I've been talking about this a lot. And if you remember in September, I was I wrote an article about this technology yeah. and design for Forbes. I interviewed you yeah. for that. Um, yes, China. I remember. And um I asked you, I was like, hey, how do you do this? Like, do you design this digitally? Because it's like so precise. There is so many little details. And you were like, no, no, I'm actually just drafting it here like this, but it's all handmade. And I'm like, yeah. okay, so what about in future? Will you design digitally in the future? Can you sketch this for me digitally? You know, like, I feel like all this were some, somewhat like under the surface bubbling. Yeah. And it just all came out. Um, after, yeah, after the Olympics, I was just like all smiles. Um, and yeah. as, to answer your question, um, yes, I'm very pleased that other fashion week, especially the big four, is went digital with no yeah. deal. Because when I came up with the sustainable fashion week concept, yeah. and I started doing it, um, you know, in a way that I I do it with my team it took people like how many years to even yeah. start about sustainability you know yeah. and so I was like oh here we go again we're gonna go digital and be this weirdo again and then in three four years people are going to start slowly going digital but no so you know us doing this move and then having these big guys do the same move it was encouraging yeah. and it was yeah. a good from all the fashion weeks. Um, Milan, uh, they understand the value of online, you know, connecting with Asian market. Yeah. Um, they got great results, great partners. Um, even Paris Fashion Week. If you yeah. would have, if they would do this, I would say, hell no. 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 <laughs> Not happening. No. Um, but and they did it, right? They did it. They yeah, did it. Yeah. All of them, they did it. I don't know about New York, but yeah, they did it. And I would love to see more 3D actually yeah. there. Because doing things digitally is one thing, but doing it in 3D is a complete other thing. But you can see uh, Balmain's creative director, he yeah. did Avatar. My Avatar is way better. Thank you to Paula Pina. Facts are facts. But anyway, I'm happy that he did it. <laughs> uh, star of Kendall Jenner for Burberry that was really well made um, there is you know big luxury groups looking into digital sustainability which is so fantastic mm -hmm. uh, so I'm just really really excited that we are all as a fashion industry going to that direction but yeah. also you know there is a, the business of fashion initiative re rewiring fashion where they yeah. really connected all the fashion weeks in the world and for the first time, we're talking together. Yeah. And yeah, it is really, we, I see that we have come finally to, to a place in the international fashion industry where we understand the value of collaboration and communication rather mm -hmm. than think of each other's that we are competitors. We understand that, hey, I do have some qualities that you don't have and vice versa. And we can mm -hmm. learn and become stronger together. I mean, it sounds like a, uh, an NSYNC or Spice Girls song when I talk like this, but it's true. It's true. Yeah. 
And um, so it's really nice to see that finally we are working and functioning as a team, as a fashion yeah. industry. But I, I hope it stays. I hope it stays like this. You know, uh, me too. But again, um, I have to say that I'm personally very drawn to the gaming industry. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I'm kind of over all the fashion weeks, like fashion shows, sorry. Fashion yeah. shows. Like, it's all the same always. Um, yeah. So this is something that I can't wait to explore more. This is just the first version of the digital village. I um, agree. I think yeah. something, I hope, I hope that these are just the first steps of the digital and the virtual worlds, um, really connecting more with the traditional fashion weeks or fashion world. Um, and I hope it grows and it improves and it's, it's better, I think, every year, hopefully. Yeah, there is a lot to, to add and uh, to, to develop for next season, which, uh, which is really interesting. Um, yeah. Yeah. I think, I think we're already, like, over our time, right? Or not? I think, I think we're way over, but we... <laughs> I, didn't hear, I didn't hear our um, um, uh, team members. <laughs> saying you have five minutes okay. Uh, okay do we have any questions i don't know do you have uh, received any questions maybe it's just us <laughs> maybe it's just a private conversation <laughs> there, is, there is a lot of spam bots oh. they're not really spam bots they are my fans they've gathered in like a club <laughs> like the gaming the gaming world right oh yeah i have one that says what's the next plan of helsinki fashion week but i already asked it i think and and you're not you're not gonna spill your beans too early right <laughs> uh I, I think we're gonna go a little deeper into cyberspace yeah at least i can tell you um yeah because there is a lot of elements that we just simply didn't have time to put in. Yeah. Um, so this is what, what I'm excited about. And um, solving the sustainability challenges. Yeah. yeah. There okay. is sustainability okay. challenges um, in terms of production, you know. Yeah. We're really happy and excited to see the report and then try to do what we always do to lower those emissions or get rid mm -hmm. of them. so this is my favorite thing to do um yeah so this is something i'm really really looking forward to and working with more 3d designers yeah yeah this is uh, definitely i'm completely in love with 3d designers um really it's it they are all so different uh they're so passionate they have such unique perspectives and aesthetics um you know i love stacy and who's there please on instagram i just like hours go through her videos um yeah it's like really 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 cool she has a video for my every mood so it's it's really fun <laughs> that's perfect uh okay i think we're i think we're or do you have any questions for me maybe um would you do this again? Definitely. Cool. Always, but then better. Yes. Always, always better. Yes. Uh, I, I think um, from the moment that we had a call, I was, I remember I was outside this building and you called me and said like, Tess, I have news. <laughs> um, like from that moment on, I learned and um, yes. it was, it was, most of the time it was fun. Uh, sometimes it was like a pain in the ass. Um, <laughs> Tell me but, about it. Tell me about it. And I think, but that's, but that's how it goes, right? That's how you improve yourself is sometimes also learning the hard way. Like if I need to do this again, I would definitely do it again. Um, but I really, what I really 
am experiencing now is that I'm creating everything that I designed in the computer and developed in the computer. Um, and now I'm actually making it. And that's for me as it's such a new way of designing. It's like, so it's so interesting to see that my brain works differently if I'm creating in a 2D digital world. Um, and now it's for me the challenge, of course, to translate it into 3D physical designs. Uh, mm -hmm. But it's so, it's so funny to look at yourself as a designer and then just say like, oh, how, how did I came up with this? Like, how does this work? But that's just exactly what you say, like working with people, uh, digital designers, um, they sort of inject you with their creativity and their input. And I think, yeah, for me, the fun uh, now is again starting with creating everything. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah, I would definitely do it again and then indeed learn more, be better, be a better designer, be a better person in it. I don't know, everything I would. But that's that's just me with every every assignment, every collection. I'm trying to do it every time I'm trying to do it better. Of course, of course. And this has been a huge experiment. Yeah, like yeah. a massive experiment. Um, yeah, and we've learned as we have went, uh, walk the path together. Yeah, um, yeah. and um, there's been a lot of challenges that, oh, yeah. Yeah, is, it, is that not possible in 3D? How? You know, how do we make it work in different uh, servers? How, how do we yeah. you know, combine these softwares? Oh, it doesn't work in this software. You have to do this. You know, it's um, a lot of challenges, but... Um, a lot of aha moments and I'm yeah. super excited about next week and the shows. Me too. <laughs> yeah. because, uh, the work that NDA is doing is incredible. It's um, really, really something else and I'm really, really excited. I haven't seen anything yet. Some pictures, some pictures. Uh, <laughs> so, some I, screenshots. <laughs> I, yeah, I visited their um, workspace. Um, yeah. But yeah, I haven't seen one show yet. So um, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> With popcorn and uh, three shows per day, except for you and uh, Sophie. Sophie, yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, I'm so excited. I'm also super excited to see what the other designers did. Of course, we had already some sneak peeks. Um, but it's just like, um, I don't know. I'm going to talk to Patrick. Uh, Friday with a live stream session. Also very curious how he experienced this all to see if there's any, like, I don't know. I think he works in a completely different way, but I'm very curious how he reacts on the whole uh, digital aspect. So no, it's uh, super nice. Um, it's still, um, still a learning process and it's still all new. Um, I think we need to wrap it up, right? Um, at least I am out of questions. Um, All I can say is that go check out the crfashionbook.com. They released an article which is quite interesting because they literally went through our seasons from like 2018, 2019, oh. talking about different elements. So the journalists that worked on that really, really uh, went deep on what we did you know talking yeah. about uh, cultural sexual racial inclusivity um inclusion of science and technology in our previous seasons and then how we came today to this position that we are now so it's a really good article i have to say that it's happy i'm happy to see that yeah, um, yeah someone has done their homework and do you have uh, any other live stream sessions scheduled for this week? No, fortunately not, because this is actually uh, a bit nervous. Uh, you know that I'm normally not nervous, but... Um, <laughs> no, <laughs> but we already did this, of course, with our video costs a yeah. few weeks ago. That was fine, right? That was fun. Totally, totally. But it's always easier for me to do it uh, when someone else has sort of planned everything. So I'm just yeah. a guest, you know, and yeah. now we're organizing it and I'm a guest. 
So it's a bit weird. And you're moderating. I'm always the one who's moderating. So well done, you. Yeah, I didn't also um, plan this, but I think I just had uh, loads of questions for you. So there was, um, it was nice. Yeah. Thank you so much, Evelyn, for giving me and everyone who's watching a bit of a sneak peek into what's happening behind the scenes there and, and, and inside your brain. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's in there. Um, but um, no, thank you. Thank you so much for, for doing this and having trusting us. And it's a just very humbling process to see um, the amount of trust and love and collaboration. Hey, Tony. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, now now it's time to wave, right? And then we go offline. Oh yeah, like this. Okay, thank you, Evelyn. Talk to you later. Bye.